Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go I hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh. It's such a beautiful day today Today is Thursday It is not as hot as it normally is Got a little breeze Got my wonder down a little bit Hope it's not affecting anything Everything falling off my seat though mm. Everybody's out Oh Oh, that hat is so cute Girl, uh, you better do that mm, Alright Get over, get over, get over Before you cross the line Today is Thursday And I normally don't do much on Thursday But hmm, today Y'all know what I decided to do I decided to go on ahead and schedule me a few today Mmm me and these humps are just not working. Oh, it's too many on some streets. It'd be too many humps, okay? I know not to drive 100 miles an hour through these neighborhoods. It don't take all that. Okay, scoot up, scoot up so I can see. Ah, you almost nipped me. Y'all be doing the most. All right. Let's go. So the first one is clean on the other side of town. Really about six and a half, seven miles. It may be a total of eight according to the map. It may be eight miles, but it's all off of uh, Washington Boulevard, which is, yeah, literally on the other side of town from where I live. But I'm going to go over here because I'm familiar with that location. I go all the time. So, why not? Beat the bus, beat the bus, beat the bus. So I've made it to the first location and I'm getting myself together so that I am prepared for them. I don't need them to see all the rest of the work I got to do for the day, so I'm going to throw that in the windshield. I'm about to stop throw dropping stuff. This is what I bring. Clipboard, okay. Paperwork, clipboard. My glasses, of course. I normally have a chain on with my glasses so that I don't have to be worrying about that because sometimes when I go to answer these questions, <laughs> I can't see. All right. I take my monopod, yeah. So in case I have access to the roof, I can get it. I have a little satchel that I bring. This bring this. Um, I carry my pencils and all of that stuff in there, and it also helps me out for all the days that I don't have pockets, and I can actually drop my keys down off inside of my pouch. And to add that last little professionalism, mm, I be bad. Gotta put it on. So that you always be looking like you belong. All right. And did I say last but not least? Because that's not last. I bring also my little wheel just in case there is parking in the back. I have my wheel and I have my measuring tape for their stairwells in case they have stairs. And I just drop all of this inside of there together because once I zip it up with the monocar inside of the bag, I have the little handle and I can tote it like this. 
take this, throw it over me. Okay. Let me tell you something. At first, I wasn't using this little pouch. I haven't long bought it. I decided to go ahead and do it because when you come somewhere and you don't have pockets and you're dropping keys and you're dropping pens and, you know, stuff rolling up on the stuff and you're trying to get stuff taken care of, that's the last thing you want to do. And you know what? That is not my type of hype. And I said one day I was out getting my early morning jackets on and, um... Well, it wasn't too early because the store was open. And I seen the store. I said, you know what? Let me run up a hill and see if they got a little pouch because I need to give Amazon a break. <laughs> okay. I ran up in the store. They had what I needed. And, yeah. I got my little pouch. That way, I don't have to worry about dropping stuff all over the place. Y'all see, I switched out on my little jars. Before I left, I made a seven grain toast, which is uh, one one toast, avocado, crushed up in a bowl, and threw it on top of it, made me a little avocado toast. And that was my breakfast, along with my quick little uh, cup of coffee. Your girl ready to go. All right, so let me put all of this up for all the peep eyes. I don't need peep eyes. Mm -hmm. Get my stuff situated here. And I'll see you guys on the flip. Okay, I'm done with that one. And that one was what? 22 minutes. I have my compass on on my phone because sometimes I have to use that. Yeah. 22 minutes. It's over with. <laughs> Your girl got that done. Let me put all of this up. That check marked off. And we are about to be on to the next. All right, what we got? Don't nobody fail me today now. No, no, no call, no shows. <laughs> Show up, let's get this work done. And here we go. Every single day, I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Uh, to the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway, and in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, they'll see with the negativity, but I just slide right by that. Low, you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go 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 even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never ran to the no man i still go 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 All right, let's see where we're supposed to be. Mm. Oh, that's what they mean. It is a two-family dwelling. So I guess they are renting it out. Look like they've separated into a duplex. <laughs> we're going to see. Apartment is an apartment. Okay. Second $85 stock. Can't beat that. Where is the person I'm supposed to meet? Mm. The last one was 4.5 miles away, but yet and still 17 minutes. Uh, yeah, that's LA for you. But 
That's why I set my appointments to say between 10.30 and 11. And it is now uh, 10.48. So that way I'm never <laughs> late. Same thing. Different location. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Huh? Let's go. I don't see nobody. Mm. Okay. Let's see what happens. Catch you guys on the flip. Okay, so let me tell y'all something. This place <laughs> is a disaster. A actual disaster. So that noise that you guys just heard, apparently they had an eviction and they had to get the, the person that was evicted, you know, make them actually leave because they didn't want to leave. So the lady whose apartment that I was supposed to, the ladies whose apartment that I was supposed to see, uh, of course, it always plays out this way most times. <laughs> she wasn't here. All right. So it doesn't change the fact that I still need to get inside of one and they had a vacant one. So that was the one where they did the eviction. <laughs> These people done tore this apartment up. You know what? It, it, it always just has me so bewildered. And I, why do people tear up stuff that don't belong to them if you couldn't pay the rent and you couldn't deal with whatever your responsibilities were or you were in there showing out and showing your ass you know what when you get evicted you get evicted it is what it is we have to own up to whatever we got going on and just be adults about it if you catch it a hard time and you end up having to uh leave your residence you know what people go through stuff like that there's no need in taking it out on the property i don't understand why they do stuff like that but they tore that place up <laughs> But you know what they didn't take with them? <laughs> their alarm. So they got their own little alarm on the door. <laughs> and when we opened that door, that thing went to peep, peep, peeping. And I was like, is there an alarm? Y'all have alarms here? She's like, no, this must belong to them. That thing started chirping so loud. And she's over there right now trying to stop it. And I told her, I hate to leave you uh, with all this shenanigans going on. But your girl got other stuff to do, other places to be. Okay, so this is my next to last the next one i got i'm about to head to now is my 75 dollar one and it is from between 11 and 11 30. this one was at 11 o'clock i made it to this one five minutes early it is 11 16 so therefore i was there 21 minutes looking for stuff that don't exist <laughs> and so now i'm about to go to the next one and keep it pushing Okay, lucky for me, this location was only four minutes away. How lucky can you get four minutes away, okay? Problem is, there is absolutely no parking. Oh, my God, I got my blinkers on. Y'all, wish me luck because uh, I don't do tickets too well. <laughs> Here we go. I never ran to the no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so this one, I don't know, sometimes I just be knowing when a person is just not going to do what they're supposed to do, okay? So this one right here is so far, it appears to be a what? No show. All right. So this is my last one for the day. It was for 11.30. I got here like five minutes early. It is 11.39, and I have run through the building. And let me tell you how I'm able to do that because they have people that are over there doing landscaping and all of that good stuff and they were in there spraying the hoses and as soon as i walked through to the gate the dude walked down the stairs and let me in so i was able to get all of my images everything that i needed except for the gas mains couldn't get the gas mains because the gas mains are up under the building locked down and there's no way to get in it and they don't speak no english and the electrical panel on the outside is locked inside of a wall with a dead boat and I can't get in there as well so I couldn't take an image of that I just have to make sure you take a picture to show why you can't get in stuff because see sometimes when people don't actually show up as long as you can get in you're good to go the main door in the front was open so I was able to go inside of the building I was able to take a picture of the stairs the railings the height the width of the distance between each bar I was able to get all of those fire extinguishers all of that good stuff I got the emergency lighting 
all of that stuff that I needed, showing that they have emergency lighting and exit, but I was not able to get inside of the actual unit. And the water heater is, of course, locked up too. And when they don't show up, they take what I give them and they pay me the full amount. I just made $75. I'm going to give, I'm sitting here for a few minutes because he's my last one for today. As of 11.35 a.m., my first appointment was at 10 o'clock. So, an uh, hour and 45 minutes and I made $245 for the day. Oh! Okay, luckily for me, his questionnaire is not too much depth and in detail. It's a lot of questions that I can ask. But you scared the bajee out of me. If you don't slow me through this neighborhood. Anyway, the questions are pretty much questions that I can answer myself. And um, I don't need too much of his help on it based off what I see. So... If he don't contact me, I will answer them to the best of my ability, as though they tell me to do anyway. <laughs> and we're going to call it a day on that one. So I'm going to give him a few more minutes just so to see if he does show up so that I can be able to firmly say that I waited 20 minutes. So I'm going to wait on him. And if he doesn't show up, then I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go to my next one, which is not an appointment. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let me pull it out. That one I was telling you guys about earlier for 102 that has been lingering and lingering because we couldn't. First, they kept trying to send me to a location that did not exist. And then when I just gave up on it, eventually someone jumped in on the game and decided to send me to another location after I finally got a hold of someone who would actually kind of straighten it out. And he said the job site is at a particular location in Sherman Oaks. And, uh, yeah, I decided I was going to go by there the other day, but something told me to Google it and see what's going on. And that is not a job site either. It's a house. Now the man's telling me that it's still the job site. So, you know what? It don't even matter. This fire has been lingering around for like 90 plus days. I'm going to go on over here and knock this out, make this $102 on that one, and then go on to the house. So I'm going to head over there in just a few moments and see can I knock that one out and get that one out of my life, finally, because I'm sick of looking at that file. Huh. Your time is winding down, mister. I could be long gone, but you know what? I like to give people the benefit of the doubt because I'm a nice person. say it's time to go all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go on ahead to get to sherman oh so i hit you up hit you up hit you up when i get there even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 I hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain you never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll see what the negativity but I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go
go You got a mind, but even that could change You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst I say and turn them to a game Take the best I say and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down, you can do some more Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door Open it up, and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Okay, so this is a house. All right, so now I kind of understand what's going on. <laughs> Girl, sometimes you be showing up for no reason. Okay, so it's a house, but it's a house under construction. And we're going to see what we can get at this location. Well, that was a very easy very easy indeed 
The workers are not there. Don't look like nobody even on this street <laughs> but me. Okay. So, I got all of the images showing the debris and stuff that I guess they were supposed to have cleaned up. If they didn't clean up, who was hot? And they claim that it's workers over here every day, all day, between 8 and 3.30. And, um, yeah, he lied. There's no workers. But I was able to get that done. So I'm going to go home and turn that in. Yeah, so three hours worth of work. That includes riding because this ride was 24 minutes. It was actually 11 miles from my last location. And 24 minutes ain't bad for LA. I mean, the, the freeway was moving pretty smooth. And, you know, I didn't have to just stop, stop. But, you know, it was pretty good for LA this time of the day. So I was able to knock that out, get all that taken care of. And, um, yeah, so we're looking at two, three, four, $347 in two hours, two and a half hours, $347. That ain't bad. You know, normally I would say it's bad, but being that it's Thursday, <laughs> and I don't normally do nothing on Thursday anyway, <laughs> it really don't matter. Today is a really good day. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed your little ride along today. It is 12 34. I don't know if y'all can see that on my watch. I'm gonna turn it on me, turn it off so you guys can see. It is 12 34, and I am done for the day. And for those of you who are always wondering, uh, you know, should I, should I, should I, I don't know if I should, maybe I should, let me tell you something. That's the quickest money you can make. And imagine if workload starts to coming in and, you know, people start to actually signing you up for these contracts. I mean, just imagine that, all right? And all of a sudden you have this work coming in. Because, you know, you have to be patient. You have to be extremely patient when it comes to waiting on the workload. But imagine they start bringing you workload, okay? All of a sudden, these contracts come. Those of you who I've mentored, y'all already know what I'm talking about. You can strongly agree with me. Go on ahead and raise your hand in the comment section when you start getting those contracts and that work start coming in. Now, it may be moving a little slow at first, but that's okay. It has nothing to even stress about, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Suppose you don't get but four or five a week. <laughs> that's four or five hundred possibly. Depending on what company you're working for, that's a possible four or five hundred dollars a week. If you don't do but four or five and you make what three seventy five in that week, a lot of people are making that after taxes on full time job on these low income jobs. Well, did I say that right? Minimum wage jobs. <laughs> okay, so you at least getting by on that. But imagine if you could just get to a point where you can only do one a day, or if it's five of them and you manage to put them all in between Monday and Wednesday, you still done pull close to $500 by the end of the week. Come on now. That's more than most people make after taxes on a nine to five job. You can't complain about it. You can't complain about it at all. And I say all of that to just say this really quick and then I'm gonna have to get out of here because it's getting hot and I feel like I am melting. My water has gotten nasty. I don't even want to drink it. Shirt all sticking to me. I'm feeling all combobulated. Oh my God. Okay, but I say all of that to say this, that no matter what you're going after, no matter what your passion is, no matter what your goal is, no matter what you're determined to do with your life, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to step out and make things happen for yourself. Now, is this going to be my last stop? Field inspections? Of course not. You guys already know this is not going to be my last stop. I have other things planned in the near future and uh, it won't be long. I may not be rolling in the car at all. Okay, but with that being said, when that comes around, I'll let you guys know what's going down. <laughs> Y'all like how I said that? <laughs> when that goes comes around, I'll let you guys know <laughs> what's going down. Anyway, as of right now though, I'm going to pump the brakes, take my time, be grateful, 
Practice gratitude every day, which is what I'm telling you to do. Practice gratitude every day. Be grateful for everything that you have. And when you run across a company that is allowing you to get some commercial work going or even some high value homes or even just enough of appointment settings where you can make enough money during the day and you are comfortable <clears throat> and you are comfortable with how much work you are doing in that day, be happy about it. Be happy about it. Praise God about it. Thank the Lord for it, okay? And keep it pushing. And the more you practice gratefulness, the more opportunities he'll put in front of you. The more phone calls you'll get, the more unexpected blessings will be coming your way. I'm telling you guys, just stay patient. And whatever you're trying to do with yourself, just know that all of those things are possible. Why do I say that? Because if you can see other people doing it and other people are actually doing it, then you can do it. What makes them better than you? Nothing, nothing, except they're not afraid and they're willing to take chances. Huh? They're stepping out on it and you're not. You're somewhere sitting back thinking on it. Stop thinking on it and start stepping out on it. Hey, Y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notification bell. I hope you guys enjoyed this ride along today <laughs> and I'll see you on the next video. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Hustle every single day